Hi, good day. In the last video, we talked about the a to z and a dash to. Now let's see how we apply this here. So uh, we put the right. The this means that the first few characters, right? Uh, let's just talk about this first one. A. So one comma two. That is the patterns and a a a b b b. Right. So let's just see whether it does does it match that. So we run the code. And it says yes because the first two characters isn't that A. So it match and when it match it replaced with uh, this red value, right? You can see that. So can I just put that as Z, right? And let's just run this code, right? Yes, you can see that it changed, right? For every characters that match with the patterns, it changed to Z. So it becomes XXBB. Um, yeah, so this one, the first character becomes Z, the second two characters become Z. So you can see that. And next thing is that, um, what if I want to change to, uh, I want to know if, uh, if this match. The first two characters both are not Z. So run the code. So the first two characters match. So what is that so right? Um let's take a look at that again, right? The stream V V pattern is A. So as long as there is an A in the input, it matches the pattern. But now I want to check the first two characters. Is this the A? Or one character is the A or two characters. So I need to put an extra sign, which is this carrot. Now it will say it's not match because look at this. It's V, V, A, B, B. So run the code. So it's not match because the first two characters or the first one character is not, is not A. So what if I just put one A there? Right. I'll just put there. Ah, oh, wow. So will this be match? The answer is yes. It's match because at least one characters or the two characters get match. And that is your very simple red expressions.